Hello everyone, I'm Stefan and the idea behind this tutorial we assume that uh, your trainer asked you in what position you should be far from the basket to make the goal at launching speed 12 meter per second and 60 degrees so what you, you are asked what position is going to be uh, you will be far from the basket if you shoot this ball here at velocity 12 meter per second and degree and 60 degrees so you will do this you have to find what exact position it should be if for example we assume you are here you may do this and you will be far away because the speed you are you are uh, you don't have other choice you have to shoot it in this here in this speed and this angle if for example you are here you may do this so to make it you have to be in exact position and we call it d this is what we're looking for first of all in this case we have to treat the path and movement of the ball in x and y individually so first of all let's we take the origin here of everything of time and position in this here t is equal zero and y is equal zero and x is equal zero so to make it easy for us so first of all let's find some values we may need for this calculation first of all let's find vx zero and vy zero so let's go back to trigonometry we have here a 60 degrees angle and we have here so if you do this you will have uh, a right triangle here degree and uh, 60 deg uh, 90 degree here and 60 degree is here so what uh, so this one here is going to be the uh, vx0 and this here is going to be v y zero so let's find them and we see from this triangle that uh, sine and cosine of this it will be something like that we have sine of 60 degrees in this case is just v y zero over v zero and cosine 60 degrees is just vx0 over v0 so what is going to give us here therefore vy0 is just v0 sine 60 degrees and here is going to give us just vx0 just v0 cosine 60 degrees so we're going to get here it just 12 times square root of 3 over 2 and here just 12 times 1 over 2 because square uh, sine 60 is square root of 3 over 2 and cosine 60 is 1 over 2 so we're going to get here is just 6 meter per second and here we're going to get 12 times square root of 3 divided by 2 is going to be 10.4 meter per second so let's write it here so to keep our information so we have v x zero is equal to six meter per second and v y zero is equal to 10.4 meter per second so let's find more values take this off we know that in uh, in this case the acceleration a x is just zero why because there's nothing applying in this direction however 
the a y the acceleration in y axis is equal to g is equal to minus 10 meter per second squared why because g is going down and we choose here the positive path so g is pulling down so is negative so let's write those two values we have a x is zero and we have a y is equal minus 10 meter per second squared from here we know that v x is just equal to v zero equal to six meter per second since the acceleration is zero the velocity in x axis is always constant the velocity in y axis is going to change with time and the position so let's write some values uh, for some equations from kinematics so we are going to use them so choose a color here so we'll write here x and we'll write here y so we are going to write them individually separate between them so let's find it in y axis in x axis we have x is equal to x zero is just equal to zero plus v x zero t plus one over two a t squared for y is equal to y zero is just zero as well plus v y zero t plus one over two a t squared and we have v x is just v zero v x zero equal six meter per second and we have here v y is just v y zero plus a t this is the uh, equations of kinematics and we have here v y final squared is just v initial we can call it v zero v y zero squared plus to a delta y so depend of the distance where, where the change of the the differences of the distance so will be delta y this is what we have in this case and this one this here we don't write it in x because we don't need it because it just is always constant so let's simplify the the formula here is going to be we know y zero is this is is zero this is here we already find it is 10.4 and this is here is minus 10 so what we're going to get we said this one is 10.4 so we're going to get 10 10.4 t minus 10 over 2 minus 10 over 2 is just minus 5 t squared here we are going to get same thing 10.4 minus 10 t and here we are just going to get this one just leaving like that because we don't even need it I just add the idea in case to give you more information and for y for x let's write it somewhere here x is equal to this here is just zero and this is here just six and this is here just zero so we will end with uh, 60 simple this we are going to get there and we have the vx is there 
So now what we're going to do to solve the first problem, let's use this formula here. It's the easiest way to use this one here. So we're going first of all to answer this question here. What is the maximum height that the ball will reach? So how we're going to do that? We know we said that is the, the graph is going to be like this. The path is like this and it will be v0 is here where is v0 is actually is the maximum height when x arrives when uh, vy equal to 0 this is will be the maximum height because it's not going up anymore start going down after that point so the maximum height it will be at vy equal 0 so what is the idea we're going to take this function here and ct equal to 0 so we know the time that is very important and then when we know the time we can take it and put it in here so we know how high is going to be so let's do that there's some different color so we said we have to first use the formula we have vy is equal just going to block this straight because seven time so is equal to 10 is equal to 10.4 minus 10 t is just equal to zero right because we say we're going to set it equal to zero let's change the color to the mix it with the one therefore we will have minus 10 t is just equal to minus 10.4 Therefore, t is just 10.4 over 10. Let's see how much is going to be 10.4 divided by 10 is just 1.4. 1 1.4. 1 .04 second. This is the time here this is the time so we will have the maximum height so what we're going to do we take this time and block it here so we don't know the height because this is what is the height let's do that so we have y is equal to 10.4 t minus 5 t squared let's change a different color no one you can see it that much this is black so we said is equal to 10.4 t minus 5 t squared so let's block the time we are going to block this time here and this equation is here just equal to y so let's plug the time is going to give us 10.4 times 1.04 minus 5 times 1.04 squared so what is going to be let's see 10.4 times 1.04 minus 5 times 1.04 squared is going to give us 5.408 mirrors However, we are saying that we are going to see how much from the from the ground. So we will take the height y plus h. So therefore, the height we call it big h because here I used the small h here. 
so it will be equal to y plus h is just 5.408 plus 2.5 is going to give us plus 2.5 is going to be 7.908 meters so this is the the maximum height that the ball is going to reach from the ground so now we find the height let's find the second question the second question you can use different ways to find it since we have the easy way I could do we have here a parabola we said we have here a parabola and we know parabola we know the parabola that is a even function since it's an even function this point here is called the vertex and when it's a vertex this line here is called it is going to be the sim uh, the symmetry axis of the the path of the ball therefore whatever happened in this way is going to happen in this way so this is is the middle of the time so you can just take this time here and multiply it in two so we will have entire time to come here and then you can unblock it you take it the time entire time and you unblock it this function so we are going to get the x what is the distance so let's see so we said we keep it in mind here just multiply it in 2 it will be 2.08 is the entire time just write it here to be to be sure if the correct t is equal 2.08 entire time let's see if what i'm saying is correct so let's try the other way to solve to find the time if we see from here when we are here what actually happened what actually happened is y is equal to zero how come because if you see we start from zero and we end at zero so what's the idea behind this we are taking this function here this function and we set y equal to zero and solve for time and let's see if we're going to get the same here or not let's see hopefully we do if not i will be a liar hopefully not let's see we have y is equal to 10.4 t minus 5 t squared just we use this formula here because we already find it so we can use it always so let's set it equal to zero <coughs> equal to zero therefore so we're going to do move this one here to the side and we will be both negative and then we cancel the negative just to the first let's we have minus 5 t squared equal to 10 ah, we have to factor one one t I don't see that t so we are going to have t is uh, times 10.4 minus 5t equal to 0. What we did, you see that we have a t in common. Here t squared just t times t. So we can factor with 1, take it out, separate it to make it, so make it easy to solve. We can solve it like this, but it will be, there's no need for that because it will be a, a very long. So we're going to get since here equal to zero. What does it mean? It means t equal to zero, or this here is equal to zero. So we're going to give us t equal to zero, or ten point four minus five t equal to zero. Therefore t 
is just we are going to move this this side here and we change the sign here so this negative and this negative is going to go away so we will end with 10 10.4 over 5 let's see how much I'm scared 10.4 divided by 5 is just 2.8 2.8 8 second and so right here second so how we see I was saying you see we have to give at the same result since we were asked for to find the height and we already have half time we shouldn't even do this we just we have we take the time that we find and we multiply in two because we are halfway but I did it so you can gain more information in case so now we find the time let's now block it the time we take it and we block it in this function so we are going to get the distance the this d here because that we know that the ball traveled from here to here in this time here and we said the time is linked between them the only relationship between what is happening in y and what is happening in x is the time is linking them we can change it so therefore this is the time where the ball arrives here so let's use it and solve for the equation so uh, for x find the value of x so we said we have let's find a different color nice So we have x equal, we said that, uh, I forget, uh, just 6t, already writing here, since the acceleration is, is 0, it's just 6t, therefore, therefore, x is going to be 6 times 2.08 is going to give us times 6 it will be is going to give us 12.48 mirrors and this is the second answer so if you are forced to shoot if you are forced to shoot this ball at speed 12 mirrors 12 mirror per second and at angle 60 degrees if you want to make it is better you be at this dist distance here from the basket otherwise you will shoot it far away or never arrive to the basket hopefully you enjoyed this class please uh, subscribe and share and wait for next video i will solve the same problem with a different way with my way maybe is easy way let's see so this way is everyone does it but i will find show you another different way to solve problem so is the better use the way that makes your life easy actually and that's what i'm going to show you in next class please subscribe and thank you for watching